So in terms of upcoming projects, you're, again, you're prolific, you're a creator, <laughs> you're an artist, you have so many things going on. But when I saw that you had this amazing series coming out, or this, this uh, documentary on HBO, Hollowed Ground, for the Eyes on the Prize series, I was blown away because for me, I have a personal relationship with the Eyes on the Prize series. Yeah. You know, I think maybe our generation, yes. it was required watching, watching. Yes. when we were in elementary yes. school. And I remember I going to Carthay mm -hmm. Elementary in Miracle Mile and, you know, we would watch all of the episodes yep. and it was so in your face. Yes you know, graphic, yes. people being hung, yes. people being shot, yeah. the, all of the stuff about the civil rights movement and, and beyond. But for me, it was so formative and also in my own anti-racist journey yes. of like exploring all of those issues. I, to this day, I have a physical response to, to the series. Uh, and so when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's like a full circle moment. But I'm not sure everybody knows what Eyes on the Prize is, so yeah. can you speak to that and then speak to how did you get into this project and how does it relate to the Eyes on the Prize series? Sure. So Henry Hampton and the Black Side, um, and Black Side, which is a, his production company, spent decades um, documenting the civil rights movement, all the way from the 50s to the 80s. And he left us with an archive that would become Eyes on the Prize, and he released it in the 80s. As you said, this is like historic for so many of us who grew up on Eyes on the Prize, and at the end of 2019, I was asked by anonymous content, Joy Gorman, one of the execs there, if I would come on and executive produce the project, and I said, of course. Are you kidding? Exactly. <laughs> so what is happening now is the first part, because it's kind of like a two-parter, um, so the original Eyes is on HBO right now, and it's back on PBS, so you can watch it. Everybody should be watching it. But also, we worked with a South Central native. Nice. Um, her name's Sophia, and she actually did a short film called Love Song for Latasha. Mm. And you can watch it on Netflix. And she is a beautiful filmmaker, and she created a project called Hollowed Ground eyes on the prize and myself and Mervyn Mercano and a bunch of other folks are the executive producers of it and it's really I would say like a um, movement voices of this generation speaking to the series mm. and what it meant and also speaking to wow. what the series the gaps in the series such as the conversation around conversations around women and queer people and it's an hour and I'm very, very proud of this project. I'm really proud of the people we were able to feature in the project. Well, the good news is you didn't grow up on it as required watching, but we can watch it with the girls. I think that's um, amazing. As a family, yes. and then we can watch uh, Hollowed Ground to cap it off. So I'm excited about that.